it going guys? My name is Joe Gear with Musicians Lounge. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss the next video. Now this is going to be part two of a series that I started called Home Studio Recording for Beginners. It's a new series that I established here on the channel a couple weeks ago. Now part one was just an intro video showing you the seven steps, seven things that you need to get before you start recording music at home. A lot of you musicians out there are looking forward to this. You know, you're, you're trying to get your feet wet with home recording and you just can't do it. You're in a rut and you can't really find good information how to get started and where to go. So that's what this series is all about. I'm going to show you what to get, how to use it, how to hook up your audio interface to your computer, how to route it, everything. So now this one, this video is going to be showing you a couple different audio interfaces that you can buy uh, for your studio. I have a couple here in front of me and I have one that's hooked up in the back, uh, which is my Persona uh, 2 preamp IO24, which is a good unit. Um, if you'd like to check that out, I did a review video um, of that unit. Just click on the card above. I also have uh, the Sterling in front of me and the Behringer. Both these devices are really good. The first one is uh, Sterling. Uh, you can pick this up at Guitar Center for cheap right now. And this guy is a two-channel, uh, or two-preamp audio interface, which, which means you can hook up two sources at the same time. <clears throat> and here's the jacks right in front. You can see there's channel one and channel two, and then you got your headphones jack. But this device, you can hook up two instruments at the same time and record them at the same time. So this is pretty good. And also it has these pads on here that correspond with uh, lowering the uh, your DB, like if you're running a hot guitar with hot pickups, uh, active electronics to be exact. Um, these pad buttons here, uh, you buy, just by clicking on the button, it'll lower the DB so that way if you're running a hot guitar, it'll drop it down. Uh, if you're running passive, you don't even bother. You don't need to touch it. Just uh, set up your volume accordingly so you're, uh, where you're not peaking. Uh, this is a really good unit, and I love the, the big dial on here, which is really good. I love this. So these you can pick up really cheap, and uh, here's the back of it. You can see there's a lot of good stuff. And I'll show you how to hook this up. Um, then we have another audio interface right here. This is Behringer. Now these you can pick up pretty cheap too. Uh, this is a really nice unit. Now this guy, it's got a lot of features for the price. Um, I had to pick this guy up because it gave me four preamps right there. So I can, I can record four sources at the same time. It also has the pad buttons like this guy, like the Sterling, but uh, these are little push buttons for each channel. And it's got the pad buttons right there, right there for each channel. Um, you also have your line and instrument buttons for each channel, and this is 48 phantom power. With, you know, the Sterling has 48 phantom power as well uh, to run your condenser microphones that have to have 40, 48 volt phantom power. Um, but this this guy is really cool. You got your stereo mono button. Um, you got your uh, your phone's volume, your mix volume, main out volume, everything. And look at the back of this. Look at that. This is crazy. I mean, look at the features you got back there. Like, this is a really really nice device. Okay. So basically. All you, need to do, all you need to do is pick up a cheap one, something like this, or if you just want a one channel, they make a one preamp uh, audio interface, you can get those as well, or you can go with the two, and they have a lot of uh, cheap uh, two preamp audio interfaces out there. So you don't need to break the bank by getting a four or six or eight or 10. If you're just recording yourself, start off with just one preamp. That's it, where you can just hook up one source at a time. If you're, if you're only recording yourself, that makes sense. If you're recording a buggy or you got a couple musicians coming to your house and you're recording two to four musicians maybe, then you're gonna have to get yourself like a four channel like this Behringer right here, which is cheap. Um, it just depends on what situation you're in. Um, if you're recording just you and another person, to get yourself a two channel, that's all you need. I hate to, I hate to see you guys spend 600 or $700 on an eight channel 
8 preamp audio interface when it's just yourself. It makes no sense. You don't need it. But now that you know what kind of audio interfaces are out there, you can go shop for which, you know, whatever situation you're in, okay? Just shop accordingly. Don't go overboard. So now I'm gonna show you how to hook this up. Uh, we're gonna go through the, you know, the back of it, how, how to, to hook it up to your, um, your PC, how to hook up monitors to it and all that stuff. And I'll show you. Now, basically what I'm gonna tell you is, is the same for every audio interface that's out there. It's, they're all the same. It's the same process. The hookup process is the same. So don't, don't think if you got another audio interface at home that doesn't match up what I, you know, what I have, um, you might have a different brand. You might have a, a, a Focusrite or something like that, or Apollo. Um, then, you know, they, what I'm telling you, it, it, it's all the same. It's the same stuff. So let's get started. We're gonna to go to the next step and I'm gonna show you how to hook it up. So let's go. Okay, so you got your interface, you have it, you just bought it. Now we're gonna hook it up to your computer. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys something because all interfaces are different um, as far as powering them up, okay? This one, okay, has two ways to power it up. Um, you got your AC or DC, port right there where you can plug this into a wall and power it up that way or you can go USB style which is right there so that's what I like about this guy gives you two ways to go in my case I'm just going to do this I got the USB cable hooked up and here's the other end of it right here and this goes into the one of your ports on your computer now this is 2.0 so my computer has 3.0 and 2.0 uh, ports. So I basically hook it up to my 2.0 uh, USB port on my, my desktop. Okay, so that's that. Now this one, let me show you this style. Now this one's different. This one doesn't have the DC in. This one has just USB style and you can see right there. Okay, you just plug your cable in like that. Take the other end and that goes into your computer. Okay your 2.0 port or 3.0, doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of the computers that are coming out today, um, they run 3.0 now, so, but you're still able to hook this up to a 3.0 if you uh, only have 3.0 right now. All right, so now you got that settled, okay? You got it hooked up, your USB cable's hooked up, or in uh, another scenario, if you have an uh, inter uh, interface that has uh, the DC in, I already showed you how to do that. You just plug it into the wall and then you take the, uh, the USB cable, make sure that goes into your computer. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to hook up your monitors. Now this is prov uh, providing that you have studio monitors. Okay. That you're going to be using. Otherwise, if you, if you don't have any, um, uh, studio monitors, then you're going to go with the headphones jack, which is normally either on the front of your unit, like this one. I have the headphones jack on this one in the front, and this one as well. This one has the headphones jack in the front as well, right there. You can see right there. Now, if you're going to use uh, basic quarter inch uh, cables, uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to hook up and okay with this one. Uh, now they all have the same features, all audio interfaces, as far as hooking up monitors, they all have the uh, main outs. Okay, now this one has, uh, uh, we got four of them, okay? So what I do is, and now this one is really good because this one has RCA main outs and quarter inch main outs. So I can go either way, but I like to use quarter inch uh, cables, the quarter cables, and plug those in because I don't really like RCA. <laughs> uh, so I, I will go with the quarter inch. So what I do is I take my left side, which is this guy. Now this is going to be going into your monitors or right side, excuse me. Now here's a quick tip. Always label your cables. Okay. Label them. And with the fluorescent like uh, stickers or something like I did. See, here's my left and here's my right. Okay, so what I do is I take the right and I go 
Okay, so you either can go A or B. So in my case, I'm going to go uh, A, and this is going to be my right. So there's my right side. And then I hook up my left side, and there is my left side right there. Okay, so now I got my left and right hooked up to the A side. Now, the reason why you have A and B on this one is because you can hook up two pairs of monitors. So I'm just going to hook up one. Uh, I'm sure when you first start out, you're not going to have uh, a couple pairs of monitors. You're either going to have one pair or not even have any at all, and you're just going to use your headphones, which will bypass this altogether. You could just you know, put your headphones on and hook it up to your headphones jack. That's it. I'm just showing you how to hook up your monitors. So that's that one. Okay, now this guy is more, uh, this one's simpler. Um, this one, I don't think I have. Oh, I do have. Okay, so I got two pairs of outputs. You can see there. I got the left and right. See the four right there? Okay, so you do the same thing. You take the right side. And it, uh, in my case, it's going to be in channel, it's going to be an output two. Okay, so it's an output two. And then output one is going to be my left side. So I got my right side and left side. So you can see there, it's hooked up to the outputs on one. See? Left, right. And that goes into your monitor. So you take your left side. Your left monitor that goes into your left monitor and then the right side which is labeled that's why I use the stickers and right there it's green right side that goes into your right monitor now you got your monitor hooked up okay and that's the best way to do it okay if you're using headphones again all you do is bypass all this and just use your headphones jack and plug your headphones directly into there and use that to monitor your sound um, but try to get some studio monitors because that'll help you guys out. Um, it'll be better for you. And <laughs> the, it, it's, it's nice to have monitors and headphones, um, to really, uh, get your mix done right. And when, and then when it comes to mastering, you want to be able to do that. I have two pairs of monitors back here. I have the bottoms you can see behind me and I have the tops. Um, and then I have four to six different pairs of headphones. So um, I have the closed back headphones and I have the open back headphones. The closed back headphones, they don't have any leakage whatsoever. I usually use those when I'm doing vocals. So that way I don't hear the leakage, the sound leakage coming out and then the microphone's gonna pick it up. I don't want that. So I use closed back for uh, like a singing situation. If I'm mixing and mastering, I can, I can go with open back headphones. It don't matter because I'm not recording anything uh, on the back in the background. So therefore I can use open back headphones. I did a video about, uh, about headphones, uh, the AKG. I have, uh, three pairs I did. Um, actually there's been four, but, uh, if you would like to check that video out, uh, click on the card above and it'll bring you to the headphones. Um, but anyways, that concludes how to hook up your audio and inter your audio interface to your computer. It's really simple guys. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Uh, that was the easy part. When I first started out, that was the easy part. You know, hooking up the monitors or headphones, it's easy. It's self-explanatory. You, you just go to your output jacks, one and two, and just go to left and right. You know, that's it. So I hope this um, video helps you out. Now that we got everything covered, you know, we got the seven things you need to, to get when recording music at home. And now I showed you different audio interfaces you can get and how to hook up your audio interface to your computer, how to hook up your monitors to your audio interface or your headphones. So that concludes this video, guys. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you on the next video and stay on a musical journey. Bye-bye.